Hi Elizabeth. Hi Raz. What's up? We're sort of in a clear cut. This is where the big machines have been driving. That's why it's easy to walk here. Yeah. And we can see a lot of things that happened up. So when they thinned the forest out, yeah. they damaged the tree a little bit by mistake. Yeah. You still see that there on the tree. So it's not growing very well. Yeah. And it's one of the few that's been saved. So that's yeah. not a good thing. You see this tree over here, yeah. this spruce. That one probably got its roots a bit compacted. The, it opened up here so the branches would grow towards the light, yeah. making it vulnerable, you know, very heavy with snow on yeah. that side, a storm comes, and then it falls. Yeah. So then that one is useless. Yeah. It's falling on those trees, yeah. damaging them. Yeah. And here you see a lot of big trees here have fallen, probably in the storm. Yeah, uh, it, this was the Han storm. Probably in the Han storm and because they were exposed. They were in an open, open space. Yeah, exactly. So... Yeah wanting to drive machinery that have been used for forestry in nice roads have serious domino effects yeah. that are incredibly self-deleterious to the yeah. forest owner. Yeah. Of course, how do you get machines without wheels? And you know, that's yeah. not easy. Yeah. So one has to come up with very creative solutions for yeah. this. Yeah. Maybe, maybe robotics inspired by like animal movements and things like this. like this. Yeah. yeah. Because what one could imagine easily is to actually have the same Scania trucks that we see all the time picking timber, except instead of timber, there could be a beautiful, you know, uh, anteater or some insect inspired um, robots that can pack yeah. themselves into a log with legs and so on yeah. and then they could actually be several of them like six to eight yeah. and they could be like going in the Scania trucks initially and then they could actually crawl into the forest and actually cooperate because yeah. they can chain each other's uh, legs to one another to make ladders and very very you know three-dimensional optimization for actually cutting using gravity carefully and so on and yeah. there can be you know chainsaws that can be flying or part of the same setup and then they can actually pull these logs very carefully chosen using uh, mathematical models of tree growth for the right client on demand delivery. And they could actually drag it, especially in the winter easily, yep. and then load up the truck. So that could be a great way to mimic uh, traditional forestry with, yep. uh, with, um, yeah, with uh, in intensive continuous forestry. Yep. Do you want me to stop it or yeah. why did you try to grab the video? Okay. All right. Yeah, it's only two minutes and 32 well, I seconds. I just wanted to point the camera at you because you were oh, right here. for a long time so that you could be in the, in the movie for a while. Ah, okay, but bye. But 